Um, my name's Becky, if we've not met before. I, as you may or may not know, I'm a crafter and I am someone who started sewing only about nine months ago now. And quite frankly, this show is taking two passions, creativity and bags. People who say that women have too many bags, I actually think it's ridiculous. I don't know how you could have too many bags. We have got so much coming up. How incredible is that fabric? We have got so much coming up for Look at this. I mean, think you could carry all of your knitting and things in here. We have got absolutely oodles and oodles and oodles. Big, big die cutters for big, large bags. Oh, how cute. We've also got the little die cutters for the bags guess what also i have got back in stock we've not seen them for about three years by all accounts the through punch tool is back and it's part of a bundle which means you're getting massive saving speaking of savings i have got coming up for you the saver stitch and i'm going to be honest some of it is really 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 low stock so head on over to our website and see what you fancy buying especially as it's the final day of your save a five percent everything you get your hands on whether you're platinum member gold silver whatever you are you get an extra five percent off everything on our show today but today is the final day so basically i've got creativity i've got bags i've got discounts what could make it better Bernie! <laughs> Hi, Bernie! Hi, Becky. <gasps> now, look at this. So I've got a new top on, but I thought this circular bag just looks, it just goes so well, doesn't it? And it's all about the fabric use. We've got that mustard fall leather on the show that would look fantastic in this. We, like Becky's saying, we have got so many bags today. We've got the satchel bag. We've got the bowling bag. We've got the carpet bag. We've got... Oh, Becky, wait till you see these later on. We've got the quilting stencils, mm. and this is on a canvas bag. Use now a glitter uh, paste. So if you've got some of that in your stash, the deal on these stencils is unbelievable. But obviously, the first star of the show is that screw punch tool. Relaunch back today. It's it's absolutely amazing. And all you're going to need to add to it is a hammer. <laughs> How fab is that? <laughs> We have got something here which I know we haven't had in stock for ages. So for anyone who doesn't know exactly what this tool is, have you ever purchased a bag or, I think this is ingenious, Bernie, this lovely little sanitizer, hand sanitizer holder that you could maybe pop onto your belt or pop onto one of your handbags and it's got your little pop button. Have you ever seen these before? Yeah, we've seen them, haven't we? Well, this tool that I've got and the packs to back them up are your snap tools and we've got snap tool kits for you which means you can create this is a fabulous bit of kit you can create really workable really usable pieces that fasten really nicely neatly and easily with a snap so we have got all of this on for you now and today and i will let you know something I've already got 20% of my stock on this gone because people have seen it on the show. So let me tell you what you're going to be getting in this. It is the Wii launch. As I say, about three years since we've seen this tool. And as I've said, it is your screw punch tool. Now, if you're looking at it and thinking, how on earth am I going to use that? Don't worry, all will be revealed. And these are the wonderful tools, that are the elements that you will get with them. You get 169 uh, elements within this and in the alternate colorway so if you want that high sheen like the one that was on the hand sanitizer you've got it there but also if you want some a bit more vintage you've got that brass finish as well so we have got a real chance for you here to get yourself a deal and a half now let me remind you in the uk it should be nearly 65 pounds which is brilliant you're getting way over 300 elements within this aren't you but actually you're going to be getting it today for just four 49.98 sorry with the extra five percent off so you have got a saving and a half this is going to be fantastic for our crafting and speaking of crafting what are we looking at first bernie we're going to be doing these new well relaunch of the snap fastener tool the metal ones they're absolutely amazing i mean like becky was showing those samples there you can make anything that's really small i mean this is a little this is so cute it's a little like a little jewelry like a little jewelry holder so you can pop these on and then get your chains around there your bracelets around there so you've got that but then you're going from one extreme to the other 
I've got this on the back of a cushion. So you just pop these on the back of a cushion. You've got your claw, you know, your claws, your cords, your children's claws, anything that you need to put a fastener on. So if you've already got our the plastic snap fastener tool, great. Go now with the metal one, you then you're going up that extra step. You've got that metal effect on there where you just want to finish it off. I mean, straight away I think bags. Uh, all day long it's going to be bags I'm going to be putting these on, but there's so many other uses. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually use them. Right. So in the bundle that you get, so you're going to get your screw punch tool that looks a little bit, so it does look a little bit like a screwdriver. And what it does, it has a bit like a ratchet mechanism. It twists around. You'll see when I use it, I'm not going to do it onto my good mat. You'll see that it's got that mechanism there. The good thing is as well, in the kits that you're getting, you're getting the silver and you're getting the brass and you're getting four different sizes. So you're getting a 10 mil. And when we say the size of it, what it is, it's the diameter across here so this is the largest one so this is the 17 mil and then so there's a 10 mil a 12 mil a 15 mil and then the 17 mil so depending on what size um project you're doing and what size you know sort of size that you want on there you can take your pick but then obviously you're getting all the parts with it there's 169 pieces in total in with all of your all of the um I don't want to call it the refill kit because this is the one with your tools in as well. So I'm going to show you how to use it and then you'll see how easy it is. Now I'm going to use, the one thing you want to do is when you're pressing this down, what this is going to do is, as it's saying it's a screw punch, it's going to punch a hole into your fabric. So I'm not sure how well we can get close up on there. Mine's full, I'm going to show you how you empty it as well. So you can actually see that there's that little hole in there and that's yeah. quite sharp but it's a circular one and what that's going to do is punch a hole through what you're going to put your fastener on right. and what I like to use is I've got an old coaster I did wipe the top and then I looked on the bottom there's still a few little tea sticks on there <laughs> but this is just an old one I had in my drawer at home because what you want is when you punch this down it's going to actually make a little mark so if you've got an old um cutting mat at home or a chopping board or something like that, a rubber mat, silicon, um, a piece of chipboard, something like that, just to save your surface underneath. So like I say, that hasn't cost me anything. I've just got that out of the drawer at home. So the first thing I want to do is some faux leather. <gasps> I love this top faux leather. We've it's absolutely it's coming up. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is put my piece on there and I want to say, right, so I'm going to judge now. If you're making something, you're going to measure where you want to put your mark. So I'm going to pop this on here. Now, the key thing is, is to keep it vertical. So you don't want to be going on an angle. You want to keep it vertical. And then all you do is just push down. Now, you can do two hands, you know, if you have trouble pushing down. It doesn't take a lot. So I'll put that there. We can see straight away. If I bring it onto the mat, you'll, there we go. Look at that. Absolutely perfect hole. Now, that's through one layer. But if I'm making a strap and I want to make sure that I get them in the same place... I'm going to do two layers and again I'm going to position it where I want to put it let's pop it but down there so we can use it keep it vertical press it down and there we go we've got those two holes now we can see there that that one on the second one has started to cut it but it hasn't quite gone through so all you would do there is if you're going through thicker layers you would just do this twice so I'm going to go one keep it in place one again and there we get there we've now got the two holes ready to put the fastener in so what you need to do so oh, i'm gonna oh, decide decisions decisions i'm gonna go for the brass I, I don't know why i'm i'm i don't know why it's maybe vintagey i'm getting old a bit older now so i'm a bit more vintagey now so i'm not the vintage one. <laughs> but they're absolutely fantastic but you're getting all the pieces in here now the key bit is on the back of the box that you get the pieces in it actually tells you what all your pieces are called so you've got a cap and it says it's the front of the metal snap fastener. You've got a cap socket, reverse side of cap. You've got a stud, that's the inside part, and a stud post. So it gives you all of that information on there. So until you get used to these, if you keep hold of the box, I know we like to throw a packaging away, or even take a photograph of that, and then you can recycle the box. So right. that's, that's always a good one that I like to have. And it actually gives you the instructions on how to do it as well. So you're not left... Um, you know we hold in your hand but also as well these shows are always on 
all the time. They're never going to go away online. So you can go back on YouTube or go back on Crafters TV and watch this back. So if you get this out in a few months and think, oh, I can't remember how to do it, you can go back and watch. Great. So I'm going to get the pieces out of here. So I want one of each piece. So I'm just going to go in. Now, this, this box is great because the all cop... <laughs> Compartmentalised. Oh, <laughs> Do you yeah, think we've already right said that? Yeah. Compart Compartmentalised. So you know you're going to get all your pieces. Now, if you get um, one mixed up, you can just go back into the other section and say, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So there we go. So I've got one out there that I didn't need. So I've got my four pieces in here. And I've gone for the 12 mil. Now, the other thing as well is here... This is the medium size hole punch at the end. Mm -hmm. When you take the top off, you've got another two. Clever. So you've got a larger one, which is obviously for your 17 mil ones. And then you've got that very narrow one, which are down for your 10 mil. And then the medium one that I'm using, it works for the 12 and the 15. So we can see them in there. And then there's a compartment for the other one as well. So you can take them all out. If you do want to change them over and that just sits back on the top, I can put it on. There we go. And just clips on. She says, I put it the wrong way. There we go. So it lines up with the design, not the wrong way like I've just done it. To take it off, if you do need to change it, you just unscrew that barrel. Dead easy. It's not over tight. And then you're going to take out that little piece, put your other piece in. And the other thing as well, yeah, I'm making George work on these close-up shots today. We can see there that I've got my debris in there, if you yes. like, from when I did it. So, what you're going to do then is just get a little pin and just pop a pin in and they just pop out. Easy. So, yeah, so it just cleans out. So, you can get them out of there. And I say to pop your other one, you see, you're just going to put it in there, put that back on, and then that just screws shut. It actually goes on both ways as well, I think. No, it doesn't. It only goes on one way. So you know you've put it on right. There we go. So that's it. So we've got our holes punched. So now let's see how we put these together. So we're going to have the cap. So that's this one here. So that's the cap. And then we've got the other part that goes underneath. So the cap you want on your nice side. So which one did we match up? I don't suppose it matters, but it's that one there. So the cap's going to go on the nice side of your fabric so that's going to go on that side and then on the other side so anyone who does have the snap fastener tool already the plastic um, snap fasteners you'll recognize this same pretty uh, similar method it's going through the hole on there we're going to put that on the top and i'll just give it a little um press there just saying but it is it is loose at that point the other thing that you get in the kit is this little round dish Okay, so let me just move my pieces there. And what this little round dish is, is when we put these pieces together, it's going to protect your cap because you don't want that dented or scratched. So you want to put it onto here and it just sits on that little dish like that. And there we go. Just line that up. And then the other thing that we've got in here is we've got the tools. And this is where the, the hammer comes in. So I'm going to get my tool and then what I want to do is the tip of that it's not sharp but it's got a little point on it and you see there's a difference they, they all come in pairs yeah. so one's a wider one than the other one so I'm just going to pop that in that center um, tube inside of there now I'm a lefty so I need to swap over and this is where you just need a hammer okay so you're going to do three or four there we go. And we're going to take that out and we're going to say, right, has that fastened enough or do, do I need to heat, hit it again? And I can see that, that that's a, looks a little bit loose. So I'm going to give it another hit. Let me take that because I'm hitting onto cork there, which is not ideal. So let's pop it back in again. And again, just give it a little press. Oh! There we go. And that's now secured on there. OK, and then all you're going to do is it's similar on the other side, but use the other tool. So let's move it back over again. We don't need that anymore. So I know that when I put it through and it's going to fasten. I want that one to be on that side. Yeah, because I've got that one there. So they're going to fit together. So this one needs to go underneath. So again, pop that through the hole. 
I mean, you can just see the potential of these once you know, once you start looking around what you're gonna, what you're gonna snap fasten. You know, you're gonna be snap fastening everything like you did when you had the, when you got the plastic one. You're gonna go around saying, right, what can I put my metal ones on? But repairs as well, Becky. So you know, if you've yeah. got like an anorak or something, and one of your poppers, as uh, we we'll call these poppers as well, has come off, you can replace it. Yeah. Right, so now, this time, we're going to go to this tool. So on this tool here, there's like a um, hollow part in there. Now, that hollow part sits over the top of that side. And again, give it a good hammer. There we go. So now, that is done. And that's it. Easy. That's it. It's that's fab, as much it? as you need to know to do them they're just absolutely fantastic like i say keep all of your pieces together so i like to keep all of mine together i mean what you can do is you could get a permanent marker and just mark these up in pairs because they're paired up with numbers mm. so you can mark them up so you don't need to leave them in the little plastic bags but i like to keep all of mine together and these are going to last you a while but you can buy the refill sets as well so the refill sets i think we've got those on the we've show as well haven't we becky we've got those and those are you're getting the refills of all of your pieces here but obviously you, this one the the kit here is going to have your the tools punch in and all of the tools as well so yeah so that so that's as much as you need you know you, you've got your little your little kit there and your little hammer <laughs> i love my little dinky hammer it only cost me three pound i was i was quite chuffed with that i do like a bargain becky oh, i right, love a bargain <laughs> We are so, so busy, Bernie. If you've got any questions about this or any of the bags that we've got coming up, message us in. You can do it on YouTube. You can do it on our social medias as well. Just head on over to Crafters Companions. Um, what I was thinking when I was watching this is, as I said before, I'm, I started sewing about nine months ago and I haven't gotten around to doing a zip yet. I don't know why I'm a little bit worried about it. But this could be great for beginner sewers who maybe are a little bit funny about, you know, getting a different foot or whatever, trying out the, um, you know, zip technique. This, you could do fastenings for cushions, you could do fastenings on trousers, tops, you could do, uh, you know, fixed purses, you could do so much with these. So it's great even if you are brand new. And hey, maybe you're not someone who is into sewing. No sew. You could do a no sew piece with this, couldn't you? Let me remind you what you're getting. We are gonna be getting the tool you've seen Bernie use there. We haven't seen it in about three years. We've also got here for you the two sets. Now these again come with the tools, but also either colorway, the silver or that brass. Let me remind you, today is your final day of the 5% off. So yes, it does say $49.98 on screen or $55.90, but you get an extra 5% off on top of your club inspire discount these if you're anything like me when you start a new technique you will go through these pronto so may i suggest that you stock up on a refill i've got four different sizes available and it's corresponding to the sets that we do in the kit i've just brought you i'm going to start off with the daintiest so far 10 millimeters or a centimeter if you're that way inclined and what you're going to be getting is the brass and the silver finish. So you're getting 30 um, in the refill pack, which again, think about the different amounts of pieces that you'd be able to make. I'm also, um, and I have in fact, used things like these on cards. I've used things like this to um, upcycle elements where I want to change, you know, almost belt colours. So much you can do with them. All of them there, just $6.99 or $9.99 with the extra 5% off. Let's go up a little bit to a 12 mil. Now you may well think 12 mil and 10 mil doesn't sound that different, but it really is when you look at them. It is only two millimeters different, but as you can see, if I sort of stickle that one, you can see if I hold them side by side, the actual size, the diameter of them is quite a bit more significant, even just for two millimeter. And so I think this is better for if you wanted to do slightly larger projects. For example, you don't want to be making a, a very, very dainty, I don't know, maybe little um, cardigan for a, for a child and maybe have them the buttons too big or too small and it makes it fiddly. You want the right size for the right project. So think what you might use these for and you can grab them now for £6.99. Let's go up again. This time we're going up by another three millimetres and we've got our 15 mil here for you. Just to let you know, 20 in this pack 
and $6.99 again, or you're getting $9.99. And one thing I will mention as well, just because I am one of those people who loves a bargain, but as a crafter, you also have to love storage, don't you? This storage box is fantastic. Now, this is no word of an exaggeration. I have easily paid two pounds for a, a box like this that has a little snap on it. So I think that's great you're getting that included. Anyway, $6.99 for you to get with the reusable box. And then last, but by no means least, the largest ones for now. And we have got 16, uh, sorry, 17 mil on these ones. And again, if you have just tuned in, you can get really good finishings with the likes of your snaps. These are slightly different ones, but just to give you an idea of the finish that they give to you. And this, if you're loving this bag, I'm not surprised. It is made from your cork fabric, which I have got for you. Isn't this incredible? What do you think? For me, when I'm looking at this, it's that delicacy of the sort of sparkle running through it, I think looks wonderful. And I'm going to bring this to you today in a bundle, a collection, if you will. It's a set of three different colours, all of them with wonderfully corresponding colours. So is anyone a rose gold lover? Yeah, well then you are going to adore this one. It's your dark chocolate cork, but you can see it's got the rose gold running through. You've got your Oxford blue down here that's got more of the silver running through. And then the one that was used for the bag with that gold element running through, although it is sort of multi-tonal. The wonderful thing with these is you can sew them on your sewing machine. You can hand sew them as well, as well as much more. Nice and lightweight too, so you can use them on cards. Imagine adding fabric to your cards and just gluing them on. It's pretty special. I really like those and I'm going to be getting my hands on them. Today, £30 or $46. But again, it is with that 10% off, 5% off, sorry. Let me bring to you some faux leather now. Faux leather, um, faux leather is um, a term it's sometimes known as artificial leather. Um, sometimes you will hear about... Um, this type of leather, uh, leather faux leather, um, and the term vegan, vegan leather used a lot. So if you've heard any of those terms, that's what I'm about to bring to you, your faux leather. And it is John Loudon, and it is one of the most delightfully soft faux leathers I have ever worked with. I am bringing to you, and just to let you know, you're looking at nearly a metre and a half. It's 140 centimetres, and this one is your black. It feels incredibly soft, and I do like to show you the inside too, just to show you the quality of that as well. 6 dollars for uh, 140 centimetres. I've then got for you a wonderful deep dark green this is almost like a bottle green this one is a very very limited color it's incredibly unisex i think this is almost like your wellington boot color and it again feels delectable let me show you that inside again just to give you an idea of what you're getting 6.99 or nine about nine dollars 99 half price um, price per half meter just to let you know um let me bring now the metallic black and what I want to do is I want to show you it next to the black, if I may, just to give you an idea. This is now extremely limited. I have got less than five available. It is first come, first serve. This is your metallic and this is your black. So just to show you that sheen is really different. Gives it almost a little bit more of a plush look, some might say. So that is so low in stock now. I can't even tell you. So good luck to you on that. Let's go for one of the colour trends of uh, spring, summer this year. This one is your mustard. I am bringing to you a low stock again on this one today, but it is definitely still chance for you to get your hands on it. This is that kind of colour that I just think will go wonderfully with many of your homeware styles. Pewter I'm bringing to you now. This is one of my favourites. It's that wonderful glossy high sheen. It's wearable for all. It's $6.99 or $9.99. Again, price per half metre. And then we've got this. This is a pop of red, proper post box red, if you will. These are going to be great for little details if you're a little bit worried of colour. But of course, it is a primary colour, so it goes with so much. And steel. Now, this one for me, I can imagine in homeware so much, especially it is wonderful and soft. And I do say very soft. You have to feel it. Get it home now. Again, $6.99, $9.99 uh, price per half metre. 
Let's have a look at what else is available. This is available for you and it is your rose colour. I will let you know this again, very limited. So please do treat yourself to it. I've got 10 available of that. Uh, taupe is for you now. And this is the one that lovely Bernie was just demoing with actually. Not a huge amount of them ones left, about 20% of stock on that. Then we've got the grey. And this grey, I think, very usable, especially it's that kind of Instagram grey, if that makes sense. Ones that a lot of people have been using recently. Very limited stock on that one too. So do feel free to grab them whilst you can. We have been talking about bags and don't forget we are going to be doing demo of the show. So keep your peepers peeled because now we're about to learn about a bag, aren't we? First of all, Becky, I think we need to rename the four leather limited four leather. Right. <laughs> because every time <laughs> we get it, it's so popular and rightly so because it is a fantastic product. I am going to be using it in my first demo along with the cork as well. So I am going to use them. So with these bag dies, this first set that we've got are fantastic. And like I said, the deal on these are brilliant. I mean, this one here, we've got this, um, the circular. So this is the circular crossover bag. And on this one, this is where you can start to adapt it. So this one's got a really, really, really long strap on it. But you could have a small strap if you just wanted it as a, a small bag like that or a shoulder bag. You know, you can make it doesn't have to be a crossover one. So you can start to adapt it as well. And the good thing about these is everything we've got on video and written instructions that you can go online, the links on the pattern. Uh, on the package and when you get it and I've actually got the satchel one that I'm going to demo I've got that printed out so I'll show you what it looks like and then this is that cork I mean this is that Oxford blue it's amazing That's so here's true. the one with the smaller strap on so it shows that you can mix and match these as well and if you just want to cut a circle out you can use the die just to cut a circle out of something you might want to circle for a project nothing to do with a bag so you can always I always look at the shapes of my dies and think what else can I use them for um, and I, I try and get as much as I can out of them to be fair because obviously you, you're buying them you want to make use of them then we've got the backpack so this one here this is great because it is amazing how much stuff inside you can get in here there's absolutely loads of size of men. Look how much room you've got in there. You're going to get all your, your, your drink bottle in there, your pack lunch in there. It's absolutely great. And then here's one. And I actually made this one on a show. Ooh, uh, it was last year sometime. And I can remember making it because I, I love this lining. I love having a pop of colour in my lining. Um, and this one, and I don't even know if I'm going to have time later, Becky, but I never, ever got it finished and I never got a fastener on it. So you never know later in the show if I'm going to be demoing them again, I can always pop a fastener on there. And then the last one in this set, last by all means, no, no, by all means least, whatever that phrase is, mm. by no means least. No means, yeah. Can't even say it. We've got the satchel. So these are the satchel bags. If I turn these round, the reason I've got these two out is because we've got the silver snap fasteners and we've got the bronze so you can just see how the different color depending on what you know fabrics you're using you know they are going to really really go and these are absolutely you know fantastic so i'm actually going to show you how we put this together so i've got my dies here and if you haven't used any of our bag making dies before what you'll find is a lot of them you look at them and go oh well that's only half a die and the reason is is because obviously if we did it so it would fit on the plate you're not gonna have a very big bag so the team actually was a genius really think well actually we'll make the half a die so you're cutting on the fold and you can see mine is well used because me bits me stickies sort of gone now because I've had these like you know I've used them so many times and I get bits on them but I like to keep mine with the packaging the other thing with the packaging is as well you get an instructions on how to cut in here so you're getting those full instructions oh we've got a bit of a glare there we go get rid of the glare you're getting the full instructions on there and then you know i was saying about online you can get see there we go look that's my sticky i need to re-stick them if you go online the links on the packaging and you're going to be able to go in and then you can look at these on screen or you can print them out you're getting full instructions you're getting the die preparation the construction each and look at all the steps everything Brilliant. and i love pictures that's how i learn with pictures and videos so this is great and then you can go on um, our youtube channel as well and you can search for this one and you will find the video 
of how to put this together as well so if you get stuck and there's always our social page as well if you get stuck and you're still not sure our customer services just drop a, me a message and we'll get we'll get your bag made we will get it we're determined to get it because we don't want to have any unfinished projects although i am guilty i've got lots mm, me too. <laughs> honestly you start something and then something else comes along and you do it all right so i've obviously time wise um i've cut quite a few of these out from scratch but i'm actually going to show you if i get my plates I'm going to show you how we actually cut one of them on the fold and I'm actually going to cut the bag flap so if I grab this one here there we go not the flap the pocket so on this one here we've got a pocket on the front now you may choose not to put that pocket on the front you might want to put it on the inside and have an inside pocket or both or put it on the back you know you can get it on the back anywhere you want but I'm just going to show you this section here of how we're going to cut this out okay and um, I want one in my lining and I want one in my cork. So I've got my pieces here. So I've got a piece, I love this cork. So I've got this folded over and then I've got my lining just folded over as well. Now, what I don't do is fold them both together. So you can see how I've folded them separately. I'm just gonna turn this around because what I wanna make sure is that my folds are lining up. So I've got my folds lining up there, so that's fine. And then I'm going to get the corresponding piece. So if you're not sure which is the right piece on your packaging, what you're going to do is go into your package and it, it names it and it tells you which one it is, okay? So I'm just putting this on here and the open end of that die goes over the fold, okay? And this is the my top tip for me if you don't already do it when you're cutting dies is stick them down because you don't want them to move and you don't want to waste that gorgeous fabric although look at me leaving all of this here but you know I'll find a use you for that for I'll time. find a use for that won't go in the bin Becky never course, does yeah, e, honestly I'm on sorting uh, stuff out in my sewing room still <laughs> <laughs> it's like go on have we I'll do a bit now and again and a bit, oh, I found so much scrap, but I think I can't throw it out. There's, there'll be a use for it. Yeah. That time when I just want that little bit of something brown, chocolate brown fall leather. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've stuck that down. The other thing you'll notice is I put it on a bit of a tilt. What that is, is so the pressure when it's going through the machine, it's not going to go all the way through. Now, a bit of a faux pas for me. I've stuck it to my clear plate, not my metal. So I just need to take that off and reposition it. What am I like? What am I doing a Debbie? What am I like? <laughs> not doing a Debbie. Do saying what Debbie says. Debbie, will uh, she'll. I was. Uh, I was in trouble for that. Right, let's get rid of them. Right, right. Start again. So I'm cutting into my plate again. Here we go. So just to recap, <laughs> fold them over, put them on an angle. I leave my tape on. I reuse my tape as well because it doesn't lose its sticky after the first one. Mm. So I like to reuse it. So I'm gonna pop that through. And then I'm just gonna pop that through my Gemini. Now it just wants to go over the end of there just slightly. If it doesn't, you can always just snip at it with your scissors when, you, when you've when you got it out of the machine. So I've got my other plate and I'm using our plates that are on order. The new fabric plates, the on order. Yay! So they'll be coming, they'll be coming. Oh, I exciting. don't know when, I'm waiting to find out when. I've, uh, I've been excited. asking in the office, when, when the job back in, when the job back in, so we'll find out for you. Because, I, I, you know, I, I'll, I'll get in trouble just now for keep mentioning them, but they'll be back, they'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. But if you do have your, if you don't have the fabric plates, you're going to use your um, clear plate, metal shim, fabric, dye into the fabric, plastic shim, and then your other clear plate. Right. And then when we take this off, Put that back in there, just leave that tape on. We can see now it's gone through two layers of fabric and the two layers of the cork. And just oh, where I didn't oh. position it, like I was saying there, that's me that I didn't position it right to the end. You're just going to snip that. It's a, it's a thread. It, well, it just lifted out. Yeah. So we can see there that we've got our two pieces. And what you're going to do is cut all your pieces out and then you can start assembling them. So with this front pocket, I want to have the um, uh, cork on the outside. So I'm just gonna stitch them together. I've already done one, so I'm not gonna stitch this one on the machine because I've got so much to show you. You're gonna stitch it all the way around and leave a gap in the bottom. Trim it and turn it through and give it a press. 
and then once you've pressed it that's ready to sit on the front of your bag okay. so if I get the one that I've got that far on there we go here we go so here we go so I've cut my so I've got my front panel that I've cut out of the four leather so we're going two tone now I got a bit confused with this earlier we're going a two, two bag, tone two tone two bag two tone show yeah because I'm, I'm doing them both two tone because I just love how the four leather works with the cork yes. and I've got that gorgeous top one here and then all I've done like I say I stitched that turned it through and then I just positioned it on here and then I just stitched around the edge and because I left my gap here, when I stitched across there to stitch it onto the bag, that actually then closed, closed that in. Now I've got my other pieces cut, but the, the next thing I want to do is I need to put my snap fasteners on. So I thought it was an ideal time to do these here. And then I can show you how we use them again. So let me get my, so I need my little hammer. Just to let you hammer. know that we, um, on last check, there was only, there was, 35% of the stock gone, I think. I got told before. 40% now, though, of the stock gone on these. So this is what the lovely Bernie's demoing for you now. Wow. Right, so I need to get these quite equal. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my mat now. Let's see. So I put a little notch in there so I knew where the centre was. And that I've just put that on my 10 on my mat. So if I go, say, two either way... Mm -hmm. I just want to mark it. So all I'm going to do is just get my heat erasable pen and I'm going to go to, how far up shall we go? We'll go to there. There we go. And then to the other side. I've probably got my head in the way there on the overhead. No, no I haven't. Right. <laughs> See on my grey my grey roots. E honestly, roll on next week when we can get to the hairdressers. <laughs> Well, I'm not booked in. I'm booked in for tonight, isn't it? I don't know. I'm booked in for my nails on Friday, so next Sunday I'll have I'll have my nails there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, honestly, what we have to do, eh? What we have to do? Right. So I'm going to get my pieces out of here. So I'm going to put two of these on, and I need to have the bottom part because what I've done, if I ones show the you, 12 mil again. so I'm doing the twelve mil. Oh, have I done? No, I've done the bigger one. Mm. Yeah, I'm pleased you said that, Becky, because I'd have got them. <laughs> I'd right. I thought I'll use a different one on each demo so we can see. So what I did is, so we've got some of this webbing. This webbing is absolutely amazing because I've used these for the little... So what's going to happen is when the flap comes over the top, these are going to go on here. Ah, that's fab. And clip on. So on this side, I've got the cap, which is the night, the pretty side. So I want to do those studs underneath. So, e, can you imagine if I put the wrong ones on, that would have been funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> As I got home and I'd have been mortified, you know, I'd have been kicking myself. Don't worry. <laughs> you sorted it. I sorted it. Well, you sorted it. You kept us right, Becky. Well. Somebody has to, though. Somebody <laughs> has to. So, and if you struggle to get these out, if you've got, like, daft nails, you'll get them eventually. You can just use a pin or tweezers or something like that if you struggle. There we go. Right, so I've got two of them and two of them. Right, so I make sure I put them back in the right place. So I've got my two pairs. I've got my holes. So now I need to do that punch again. So I'm just going to go over that dot that I made there. Remember, just keep it vertical down. I've done it twice just to make sure, but you can see they're clear. There we go to put that hole through. Right. We'll do the other one at the same time. Just position it on. There we go. And that's, that's you know, I mean, the other thing that I thought about, you know, you know, we, you can buy them really expensive leather bag handles mm. and you have to hand stitch them onto your bag like that. You know what you could do? You could get your bit of four leather, put your own holes in with this and make your own. That's and, a fab idea. And if you've got, obviously, the four leather on the show, yeah. that I'm going to try making some of them at home because I'm I just thinking, what else, you know, anything that you want to put a little hole in, you know, if... Now, after lockdown, hopefully I'll try and get back on the wagon and lose some weight and I'll need to put another hole in my belt because I'll need to fasten it <gasps> tighter. So anything, it'll go through leather. Brilliant. You know, it, you know, you've got you've got all those uh, options. 
The tool that I have that's similar is one of the rotary head tools, but it only gives you about an inch that you can actually place it. Ah, so yes. That, you could put that anywhere on a make. Exactly. Oh, do you know, I remember me as a, as a child, I remember my mum and dad having one of those, um, them little round tools. We'll all, they were all different size holes, weren't yes, that's they? that's right, yeah, and yeah. it's like a rotary head. You know, that's yeah. what I've got, but it does only do up to an inch into fabric, ah. which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, I could remember So this that. is fab. Right, so now, which size tool do I want? So I think, is it that one or is it that one? So what you can do is you can try one if it doesn't work and then go a bigger size or a smaller size up. Okay, so let's see. This one's gonna go on. I think that one's a bit small, so we're just gonna go to the next one. I say it's definitely worth marking these as well. Just whilst you're grabbing that out, do you mind me asking a question from Pamela? You fire away. I'm just going. To, I'm just going to hammer. Yeah, go ahead. So Pamela has got. just asked. She said, "I've missed the beginning. Does that little piece come with the hole punch?" So I just thought I'd ask now, because it's literally just come through. Does that little piece come with the whole punch? Do you think Which... it's the metal that you're hammering onto, possibly? This... This one possibly, Might if it's be. this if it one, yes, yeah, so you're getting the whole, so you're getting all of your pieces, you're getting the little dish to use, you're getting all of the tools, and you're getting the screw punch um, tool as all well. All of that bundle. All of that is all in the bundle, so it's everything you need, and then what you can get extra is the refills, um, and to be honest, you probably, I mean, we've got that 5% off as well today, haven't we? Yeah. As well. I didn't see that until yesterday. <laughs> I was so excited. I thought, oh, hang on, I've missed this, I've missed this. Um, that, you know, you're getting the deals on the show and then you're getting that 5% off as well. So, so yeah, that's a good time. So if that, if that isn't what you were talking about, maybe you message back in, yeah, we, can, we again, can do it. So again, I've just sat, put those two pieces together, put my piece on the top. Give it a good hammer, one for luck. <laughs> Being very noisy. We'll be getting complaints from next door. Who's making all that noise <laughs> on a Sunday morning? Well, Sunday lunchtime. <laughs> and then what I like to do is put my pieces back together and pop them back in my little toolbox. So there we go. So we've got those on there like that. We've got our pieces ready. And then, right, so... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to skip ahead a couple of steps and just quickly talk you through how we've done this. So obviously, like I can say, um, it takes a little bit of sewing together, but you can do this in an afternoon. This is really good. So I cut the big back and piece out, and it also gives you instructions of putting a handle on. Is so that the I, webbing again? It's the webbing again. Well, that is so very low stock, the webbing. What I thought was, so you've got the handle on here, and obviously we give the instructions and the die to cut this out of fabric to make it with fabric. But what I thought was, well, actually, if I'm putting that webbing on there, I'm going to use it on the handle. I'm actually going to use it for the strap as well, and I'm ah. using one pack of the webbing. That's right. I've used one piece of the brown um, four leather uh, cork. Mm -hmm. I've still got some of that left. So we're using that, and obviously, well, I mean, that much of full leather, we're not using much at all. So you know what I was saying, two-tone, can you see now I've got my two-tone? Yeah. So I've put my gusset in, again, you're getting full instructions on how to put that gusset in there. And then all I'm going to do is put this one on the front. So I've put my little notches in, that's just the centre fold, and it just helps you match it up. And the one thing with faux leather is you don't want to put your pins in it because you're going to mark it. You're going to use your clips. So you know we love our quilting clips. Let me grab some. I've got loads of them. I use them all the time. Use them all the time. And then what I'm going to do is just pop a little clip on there. Now, I'm not going to clip all the way around. The reason being is, what you may find is when you stitch all the way around, you may get to a point and think, oh, that's, it's, I've got a little bit too much. What we do is we give you a bit extra so you can then trim it down. So if you do go a little bit off, don't worry. You've got that extra leeway, if you like. But I like to start sewing from the centre out and then I go the other way and sew the centre out. So I'm going to whiz that on the machine. I'm just doing a quarter of an inch. You can see where I put my um, studs there are well away from my seam. So if they were going to be closer, you would have to put them on after mm -hmm. because obviously you don't want to get them mixed up with you. So metal and metal doesn't go well on a sewing machine. <laughs> it doesn't go, doesn't no. go well. Right, so I'm just going to 
stitch all the way around. If you've got a needle down facility, then that's perfect when you're doing curves because you just want to gan canny, as we say, gan canny, just go steady, take your time and just work that curve. I like to work with the curve on the top, but sometimes you can't do that. When I come to do the other side, you'll see that my curve won't be on the top. Um, so I start off doing with the curve at the top and then I just work my way around. And then when I get to here, this is where I know that, because I've done the other side, I know that needs to meet. So at this point, I'm just gonna hold those two together, keep them held. You've got a little bit of give in the faux leather, which is great. One of the reasons I like working with faux leather as well is it's very forgiving. That's good. It is very forgiving. Sorry, the limited faux leather that we're now calling it because that's where it always ends up as. <laughs> yeah. And I'm doing a little back stitch at the end just to keep that there like that. And then I'm going to turn it over now. And then now I can take my clip out and I'm just going to start about half an inch -ish or so before the stitching before, just to make that sure that's all secured in. Obviously, you would use a matching thread. We just saw everything in cream because that's what we have on the machine. And I was going to use the overlocking thread on the sewing machine, but we sold out it of sold it out, as well. I was so excited um, to show you that you can use overlocking thread on a sewing machine as well. Still thread. Um, I don't use it maybe necessarily for top stitching because it's a thinner thread, but it works fine for construction. So, and I say, and this is where it gets a little bit. I would say a little bit tricky because you just need to ooh, make sure you don't catch that top bit in. Go. And you just take your time and work all the way around. We've had another question in for ooh, you. Oh, go this for it. This is in from Karen. Bernie, um, are there any patterns with the interior pockets sewn into the bag or tote? Are there any patterns? Um... Now, I'm wondering if she's meaning like a zip, like a zip pocket. I'm trying to think of any of our patterns. I mean, you can certainly put them in, your, you can certainly add them in yourself. Um, I'll have a think, Karen, and I shall get back to you. And have a think if there's of any of ours that we've got pockets inside. I'm sure there is one that I've seen that's got a pocket inside. Right, so I'm going to turn this through and you'll see this bag starting to come together and where we've got... Uh, that lovely two-tone effect. I mean, look at this. It looks fab! Doesn't it look fab? It looks like, it looks like a little face, looks like little eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to give him some little teeth. Oh, yeah, that's made <laughs> it. Right, bag finished. <laughs> bag done. So we can see now how this is starting to come together. If I now tip it that way, you can see I've got that handle on the top and we've got that in there. Now, what I need to do now is pop the lining in. So, I've already put the lining together exactly the same way we've got those, the gusset in, but I've left quite a big hole in the bottom. Now, if I'm using a thicker fabric, like I am here with the cork, and it's not um, cotton, what I would do is leave as wide a gap as you dare and just make sure you secure it at either end. It makes it easier to turn it through, really. So, all I'm going to do is put, I'm putting right sides together. So, if you've made bags before, this will look familiar. If you haven't, you're just putting the line into the right, um, right side of the line into the right side of the bag. And we're going to secure it in there. Now, I'm just going to pop one little clip in there because the last thing I need to do before I stitch it round is pop the handle in. So this is that webbing that we've got. Now, oh, we're getting a two metre length on here. I thought it was only a metre. It's actually two metres. That's even better. So I've already cut off here to make those little tabs. And then what I want to do is put the handle on. Do you know what? I'm just going to go for it and put the whole lot in. Right. And all I'm going to do, now you can stitch this onto the side. I'm actually going to stitch it into the bag onto the side seam. So let me just pop this in. And all I'm going to do is just centre it on there. And I'm just going to pop a little clip in. Now, normally I would base this so it makes it easier to go in. But obviously for time... And then just make sure you don't twist it. So to find out that you don't twist it, what I do is I open it right up and stand back like this. Get all the way back round so I can see that I don't have a twist because there's nothing worse than putting a bag strap on mm. and then realising that you've actually twisted it. And then you've got to get 
the unpicker out. And then that's going to go now inside of there. So if I shove that all the way in there, and if I explain what I'm going to do here, Becky, and then I'll just quite happily stitch, is that okay? Absolutely fine. All right, so I'm going to secure all of my pieces round, and I'm going to put my tabs in the end here at the top, so when they drape down... Is that the webbing tabs? The webbing tabs, mm. yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to happily do that okay. because I've got quite a bit of stitching on here and I would love to get this one finished because yes, I think yes. this one's going to be going to be a good one. Well, we've already had loads of people messaging in. Um, Pamela saying, this bag is going to be so pretty, heart face. Uh, we had Karen saying, that is such a cute design, Bernie. And we've had quite a few questions which I'll run by you in a moment or two. But for now, though, if you would like to make bags like this you're in the right place the one that bernie is currently working on is the, the smaller bag as you can see here and this one is the satchel shape so this one's one with the archway and this is the one as you can see that bernie was using so you've obviously got the um, lid here you've got the pockets etc all of that in there but it doesn't just come by itself oh no you are also getting with this that wonderful circular bag that you can do with a shorter or a longer handle and you're getting possibly my favorite if i'm completely honest <laughs> you're getting um, your wonderful backpack uh, which I have to say I think is magical it's really nice it's a I was quite um shocked to see the sort of base of this it's really sizable so yes you're getting all of those different designs within there and it is a discount deal and then some and um, because it should be um as you can see your price is there today though 59.47 with the extra 5% off on top of your Club Inspire. And we'll just let you know we've got some stay, save a stitch treats coming up for you not too long. Some of them very low stock. If you have been uh, cheated in, you will have seen the lovely Bernie demoing this tool. 60% has gone. Now this screw punch tool we haven't seen in about three years so it's no surprise that it is popular especially we're seeing how fabulous this can be to use. In fact I had, um, who was it, I think it was uh, Michelle was it, earlier on saying um, that they got the screw punch um, the other day because they are looking at fixing a bag and a purse that they've had and the buttons come off it's perfect for that and so much more so there it is on your screen today and that comes with the two different colorways as well don't forget i've got refills of them if you want them we did mention save a stitch and have you had a coffee yet or maybe your muesli, um, or maybe, you know, you've had porridge, you've, you've had something that's given you a bit of an umph already. I hope so, because you're gonna have to be quick on some of these. We wouldn't normally start them at this point, but some are so low stock, we wanna bring them to you now. So have a little nosy at what we've got. So homemade patchwork collection. You're getting the apple core shape, the clamshell, and the diamond shape. Great for you to be able to make so many different patches with, even if you're a beginner, actually. Over half the stock has gone on this right now. Can you believe this? It's buy one, get two for free, but then you also get the extra 5% off. Bargain hunters grab it. So well done to you all. We've got the loop handle bag frame as well. We've got one in the brass and one in the silver. This is a buy one, get one free. Yep, really. So limited stock on that one too. Then this one is a, uh, this one I'm afraid has sold out. So I'm sorry, the white one has. The black is available though. The white's already gone. This is a huge discount again, half price for you with an extra 5% off for today only. And then I have got this exciting, exciting bundle. Now this is a huge saving. This is like one of the biggest savings of the show. This is massive, okay? So, price point should have been, you know, sort of 90 pounds over $100. Today, though, you're getting it for just $30 or 24 pounds. So what you're gonna be getting is the wonderful woven sections, the two in the top corner there, you're buying them, and then you're getting the 12 by 12s for free. 
and they are huge. In fact, I've got one beside me, just to give you an idea of what you're getting here. This is just one of them, but you're getting the three of them for free in this. So you have got everything to really keep you entertained and making and making and making at a great price. It is the screw um, um, punch that has been very popular. Over 60% of the stock gone on that, so do treat yourself as well if you so wish. If you have just tuned in, hi, it's nice to see you. My name's Becky, and we have had a great day of crafting already with bag making in galore and um, we have got for the final day today an extra five percent off your onshore items and you still get points oh yeah if you don't know what i mean with points this is your club inspire welcome to club inspire our free loyalty club as a member of the club you can save up to 20 percent every time you shop with us for every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25, and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. When you reach 1,500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money-saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. Become a member of our club today. So that is how you get involved with Club Inspire. If you've just tuned in, hi, you're watching Soft Side. My name is Becky. We've got the wonderful Bernie with us who has just finished off her wonderful bag with the snaps and with the faux leather look at the lovely pocket as well this is with the cork material we've done today the webbing that we've done today oh it's been a fab show so far and there's so much more to come the bag making collection is on your screen right now and they've been really really popular so if you do see one that you like do feel free to see at the moment now we have got the savers for you today and we've got a patchwork collection for anyone who's brand new bernie what is it that you like about the patchwork collection so these are if you're into your hand stitching these are absolutely perfect and for the well even for the price of them really you you can't go wrong can you I mean look at the 6.99 for three dies <laughs> well you're not getting three dies because you're actually getting six like dies six, yeah you're getting six dies so actually these you can use them for a plique you can actually stitch them on a sewing machine as well you don't necessarily have to do them by hand but traditionally EPP, which is English paper piece, and is that's how how you do it. I'll show you my little piece. I've been I've been having a little play. Oh, Look at wow. this! That's and this is just three different colours. I like to work in quite a plain colour. If I've got a patterned one, I'll I'll make a plain one to make it pop. Mm. But you can see that they just fit perfectly together. And I mean that there could then go on the front of a bag. You could actually put fabric on the other side and make it like a little pocket. That's great. You know, so it, it's to add that embellishment or just to make a piece of fabric in this, then get your dye, then get your bag dies out. Oh, they all stuck together now. <laughs> and then pop your dye on. Obviously, you need a bigger piece. And then cut your pieces out of your patchwork fabric because as patchworkers, that's what you would do. You'd, you'd cut all your fabric up and stitch it back together again. With this one, 
cut it up, stitch it together, and then cut it back up again. So, so you know, you've got, you you've got so many options in there. And I'm going to show you how, um, how you do it as well shortly. Fab. So you're it's going to be getting the, amazing. You're getting the apple core, the diamond, and then this lovely sort of scalloped um, edge shape, which is beautiful. This is so popular. I've got only 40% left. So 40% is available, but that is it. So if you are starting out on quilting or you want something nice embellishing, these are the ones for you. We have also got for you bag frames. Now, the... If anybody um, has started off sewing and you've maybe made your clutch bags before, you'll know that they are quite simple to make, but actually sometimes if you are wearing them out, they can be a bit of a pain after a while, can't they? <laughs> These will save you that. They are super modern, but really usable as well. So they're 15 centimetres in size, just to give you an idea, we're talking um, 15 centimetres. And these ones give a really looks look, don't they, Bernie? These are fantastic. And with these ones, what you're going to do is have your fabric. It's going to, if I pop it that way, I'll see which one you can see better. If I hold them both up, actually, I think the brass one you're going to be able to see better. There's a groove in the bottom of here. Mm -hmm. And in that groove, that's where you're going to put your two layers of fabric or your wadding or your four leather or your cock, and you're going to glue it in. So you're going to use our um, textile glue, it's absolutely perfect for this. And these are, I say, the 15 centimetre size, so you can cut your fabric, size it to whatever shape you want. However, how about if, you, again, you've made your fabric in your patchwork pieces Brilliant. and you're going to have a little pouch on here made with that you're going to embroider it get your embroidery threads out if you manage to get some of the embroidery threads we had on the show last week absolutely perfect i, I would say like a, a vintagey style for the brass one you know because i'm getting old that's me <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then the silver one to bring it up you know really modern but also come on we've got a theme going haven't we silver and brass so you've got you can see how things start to tie together where you can put different you know different um components together to make it so yeah so they i mean there's not many of them left so you know grab them while you can really absolutely so if you do want to seize the moment on them big percentage of the stock gone it is your chance right now um we have also got for you one of the biggest savers of the entire day this is your saver uh, this is your stenciling pack now if you're a quilter if you're a seamstress if you're just starting out if you've been doing it for years it really doesn't matter. This is going to save you so much time, energy, and it, by my experience, heartache, because doing things like this and getting them to look professional can be quite tricky, but it's being made very simple for you. So what you've got here is your stencils, which you can trace onto your fabric and you can create these elaborate designs. The, the reason I'm showing you just these two is because this is what you're purchasing. Today, though, for free, you are getting another massive 12 by 12 set. One time, two times, and three times over. You're not even paying for these. It is such a wonderful chance and a price to give it a go. £24 or $30 with an extra 5% off for today and today only. These really are, this really is a very mega special deal, isn't it, Bernie? <laughs> So you're getting so many designs in there and not just for quilting i mean i'll show you this this cushion cover here i haven't got i haven't got a pad in it but i've got it laid out flat here gorgeous. just so you can appreciate the design on here if you try to draw that freehand or stitch it freehand mm. you know you're not good i mean and i'm a very equal parallel girl so i like everything to be lined up and i like everything to match and everything and be like mirror image and things like that so with this what you're doing is you're getting those stencils you're going to trace your design through and then you're going to stitch it but you're also getting those in the centers you're getting some of them are the 12 inch ones other ones are border strips so you can then go down and do your borders on like this then you're going to a full quilt and if i show this now which side am i gonna i'm gonna show it on this side there we go this has been hand quilted 
absolutely fantastic so you're going to see you can see that there's like a, a little running stitch all the mm. way around there so we've traced through the stencil onto the design and then and again we've got a border one round here but then just up here in this little triangle we've just put one of the little elements in so you don't have to fill the whole space and then you've got hand cutting and then this one here I mean, this one's got to be my favourite one. This is where you're using um, glitter paste, just oh, onto yeah. a tote bag, onto a uh, front you can use your ink through them. So they are stencils. The other thing as well, Becky, you can emboss with them. So you can yes. emboss them onto your paper, onto your card, also onto your faux leather. And I did have a little bit of a play the other day because I messaged out with Debbie Robinson. I said, Debbie, I said, I'm embossing. What sandwich do I need? And I told her what I wanted to do and she gave me the sandwich. Um, so it was you, you've got your clear plate, you've got your stencil, then I use four leather with your four leather facing down, so wrong side up, then your embossing mat, so you know the pinky purple embossing mat, then your plastic shim and your clear plate. And you can miss the plastic shim out if it's a bit thick. So try it without the plastic shim first. If it doesn't work, then put it in with that. And they'll emboss as well. Mm -hmm. And with faux leather, you're not really going to wash faux leather. So you can put it on your bag panels. Yeah. Can you imagine? So that satchel bag we made, if I'd embossed that faux leather as well, so you're getting that element of texture in it as well, would that be like three tone? Would it go three to? I don't know, but yeah, Maybe. it will. It will be fab. Yeah, so great. yeah, so this try to and that's it. I'm oh, I'm not very good with my words at the minute. Give us numbers any day, Becky. I'll be fine <laughs> with numbers. So yeah, so they the quilting sensors. They really that's a good. That I think that might have to be my top buy of the show actually. Yeah. Because you're getting so much for your money. And obviously, you know, your discount and then the extra 5% discount, which I can't believe, you know, that it's, that's got to be my, that's my tip that's of the show. That's your go-to. Yeah. It's fabulous, isn't it? We have got your chance to grab it right now again. And you're just buying the two and you're getting the big pieces, the 12 by 12 sports free so do seize the moment on that we've had so many people messaging in which is really wonderfully lovely um we have had people yeah. saying i'm ordering these bag frames just to give them a try i like that they are bigger so you can make a wearable bag totally what you were saying before sometimes when you're buying them they are smaller but because we're doing them to sort of fold it makes them wearable and usable so thank you for that message again loads of you in we are going to um who else has been in um oh that was it and um, rosalind messaged in before saying bernie can you use the fabric coat on the cork fabric yes you can hey yes you can so yeah so you do it the same way the the one thing i would say is put a very very thin coat on because it's not going to soak in as much as when you put it on cotton okay fab yeah. great tip. so just make sure you very thin coat give it plenty of time to dry then another coat then see what it looks like and then a third coat if you if you feel you need it and then parchment paper or applique sheet over the top and iron don't put your iron directly on it yeah Oh, that's very helpful. Thank you. Um, we had Gilmore, love that name, messaging before saying, was the square piece of wood that Bernie used something that we have? Is it something that's coming up? I'm wondering if we mean the cork. Yeah. So my little coaster. So it's yeah. my, little, my little tea cork stain coaster. that I did wipe. My little tea stain coaster that was in the <laughs> drawer. And you can just see actually the little holes there. Well, We'll see, I can see them there. The yeah. holes. That's If you do this on your dining room table, them holes are going to go in your dining room table. So you definitely want something underneath. So anything, just have a look in your kitchen. You know you've got that cupboard or drawer in the kitchen that everything gets shoved into. Go in yeah. there and uh, there'll be something that you'll be able to use. Um, even an old book, you right. know, if it's something that you, you know, just so you're protecting your surface. All cut and mat if you've got one that you know you use for your glues and things like that. But to me, I was thinking that's, you know, they would have just got thrown away. So I'm making use of them. I love that. Thank you for that. Um, so many of you in. Donna saying, hello, hello, Bernie and Becky. You're both looking fab today. Loving the dress, Becky. And Bernie, love the blue top. And the back goes so perfectly with it. I said this before, it's really your colour. It suits so much. I know I don't wear blue very often. So I'm going to, well, next time I go shopping, I've got some new jeans as well. Um, they're too big for me. So like I say, I'm going to have to put an extra hole in that belt. Ooh. So that's good news. <laughs> you're well done. Ooh. Great for that too. <laughs> uh, so again, we have got on your screen right now, your 
your quilting essential collections those are very low in stock indeed and i will just let you know that some of the faux leathers on last check we had two left of one of the colors so um if you do want to grab them then do these are what we're talking about now your so homemade patchwork die collection and this has got the different shapes and you're getting the two different sizes in each one of these and this is what we're looking at next isn't it bernie it is so what i'm going to show you is how how actually these work as the traditional way of english paper piece and, and i'm going to show you a few little um tips along the way as well which it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a softer side with bernie without tips tips mm. and tricks wouldn't yeah, it? That's what we <laughs> so what i've got like i say i've got this piece that i've been um working on I'm just going to show you how we're going to actually cut them out. So the other thing that I'm using is I always like to use a rotary cutter as well. And we've got this one on the shore today. This is the 45 mil um, threaders rotary cutter. So in this one, you get in, there's, it won't work. So I'm squeezing that there and I'm saying, it's working. Is it broke? Why is it not working? Because it's got a safety catch on here. So when you press that in there, you can then squeeze and the blade comes out. When you leave loose, the blade retracts. Mm -hmm. So if you do have dexterity problems or you often use a rotary cutter that you press on, the one I use at home all the time is the one that we press on. That's the one I like to use. But if you've got issues with forgetting to leave the blade covered, mm -hmm. then this one's great because as I say, it just retracts as soon as you leave loose of that handle, it's really great. So I'm just gonna get some fabric. So I'm gonna cut um, the apple core. So I'm just going to take some of that and I'm just doing that freehand. Always remember if you're cutting freehand, always have your hand behind the blade. So if you're cutting circles, you're going slow to cut circles or whatever, always make sure your, hand, your fingers are behind the blade just for your safety. So let's cut, uh, I don't need that many, I'll cut four. So I want four of my apple core. And then the other thing is paper. So with English paper piecing, you're always going to have paper that you're gonna sew around to put your pieces together. So I've got, um, I've just got some normal, this is standard photocopy of paper. You can use, you know, the um, junk mail that you get through the post, stuff yeah. like that, anything that's in, but I wouldn't use anything with a high print on it, because obviously you don't want that print coming out on your fabric. So I've got, what have I got there? Like six layers mm. there. It's gonna go through probably 20 to be fair, because it's thin paper and the multimedia dies. So you don't, you can cut a load. This is a good one, you can sit, you know, on a night. I mean, any of the Geminis, these will go through. But if you've got the Gemini Go, and I know um, the team's been using the Gemini Go lately a lot. Ideally, you can sit in front of the TV and do these on a night. One right. night, cut all your pieces out. The next night, join them all up. The next night, you can then start stitching them together. Great. So, so I'm actually going to be brave. And I'm not cutting this paper with that rotary cutter because rotary cutter, you keep them for your fabric. But once your blades get dull, you can actually um, I'll use a marker and just put a P on them for paper and keep them side because they will still cut paper. So when you get your dies, you're getting two different sizes. Now, your bigger one is for your fabric. The smaller one is for your paper because you're going to wrap the fabric around the paper. So I'm just going to pop that on there and then I'm going to pop that one on there. Now, with the Gemini, obviously the multimedia dies will go through those multiple layers. I've got different thicknesses here, because I've got four layers of fabric, I've got ew, six, 12 layers of paper. The machine's not going to have an issue with that. You're just going to pop them through. And I say, you're just going to cut out as many as you need. Now, here's the one for you. If you, these are small pieces, if you're making a big project, you're going to need a lot of pieces. At six ninety nine, why don't you get two sets? And yeah. then you double cutting every time. You even push at three sets if you like, but you know what I mean? <laughs> but double cut, double cut, so we're cutting up six to eight layers at a time. So if you've got two, so that's twelve to sixteen layers of these you're gonna cut in one time. Paper, well, who knows? Because you can just cut I mean that's like look, it's just absolutely easy, no easy. problem at all. And the fabric no Perfect problem too. okay so you know that's it that's a thought for that price you know you could easily um cut you know twice them cut them out twice as fast okay 
So again, I like to keep my packaging. For one, obviously, we do show, so we need them in the packaging. But for two as well, it's got my information on there, and I remember what they are yeah. as well. Okay, so I like to keep all of those. So let's get rid of my plates. Yeah, I've got so much stuff behind here, it's unbelievable. It's all them bags. It's I, like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Love bags. <laughs> Love bags. And then with the paper, all I'm going to do, you're just going to sort of give them like sort of a little, a little fan with your thumb there and they'll just come they'll just come apart the other thing is what i would say is i'm going to turn my piece over that i've been working on you can see that we've got little holes i've just got little holes here yeah. what i do is i like to cut a hole in the center of mine so we have got some other dies in different shapes where there's a it's a different style of die and you've got that little hole in with these ones i just pop in a little hole now you could use if you've got a hole punch mm -hmm. If you've got a fancy little hole punch that does flowers or hearts or something like that, you know, you could be you could be really cool and do little pattern ones. I've just got little um, little rectangles in there. Just so it just helps when we take these papers out, it's just gonna help help them um, help you pull them out. So that's our piece, and then we're gonna get our fabric. And then all you do is pop this on now the traditional ways is that you would stitch this all the way around and then um like tacking it before you stitch it together what we like to do now is use a glue stick because you know i think times have moved on if something's going to help you get something done quicker then that's absolutely great so i'm just going to put a little bit of a glue stick on there so what type glue. of glue can you use? So you want, so you don't want to use one that you want an acid-free one. So these okay. ones we have, I don't know if we've got any on the website at the minute, but these are sticks to okay. um, fabric glue pen. Right. So you want one that's acid-free. So you don't really be wanting to use one from, you know, the station as you know yeah, the I one mean. which I mean the the because it might just mark your fabric. You okay. could test it. Mm -hmm. And then all I've done here is I've just seen me there. I've just trimmed all of that around and then I'm just going to press them all the way like that and then when I turn that over you can see I've got that lovely curve Fab. on there so I've got have I got one that I already had done I'm sure I did have oh there we go oh but I did it in green so here's one that I've done in green I've turned press them all the way around the outside so that's how you get in that apple core shape and then what you're going to do is piece it onto wherever it's going to go so i've got this cream one here the green that i've got on and then all i've got i've got this one started i've got my needle and thread and you just all you're doing with your thread is just catching with your needle you want quite a thin needle for this don't use a big chunky poker needle <laughs> or a darn needle you're just catching the end of that thread and you're just doing just a little whip stitch now i'm not a big fan of hand stitching i'm not gonna lie um but something like this to me isn't hand stitching because this is a technique so if you're stitching a hole up in a bag say and you're doing it by hand my nails in the way then to me that's not relaxing this mm. in front of the tv is relaxing and all you're going to do is just go along and just catch all the ends of those fabrics until you go along and then once you've got it stitched along and you've got the center one that's surrounded mm -hmm. you can then start to lift this out so i'll just get my scissors in there for this one this has been stuck in here for quite a while so you can see there how that glue is only temporary the other thing you can use is uh, temporary stick and spray ah right yes. as well yeah you right. can use that so this has been in a while but i'm just taking that paper out there we go because you're not really sewn through the paper you're just sewn through the fabric that's taken that out now so now that's back to just fabric Fab. and once you've got made as big as you want and then you're going to do it when you get to the end just give it a good real good press when you're finished and you're not going to um sew any more on then you can take your papers out and all your seams will stay in because you've pressed them that's so yeah brilliant. so that's english paper piece and, and like i say just for a nice little you know i know we can start to go out soon and mm -hmm. you know the wa the weather's getting nicer it's something just to take with you to sit you know in the park to do or Beautiful. you know in the garden with your friends it's just something just nice to do so yeah and I do love the idea of using a little piece like you've got, you know, as an embellishment maybe 
it, you know, a little pocket on the inside of a bag or just, you know, on the outside. I think it's going to look fab. Uh, thank you so much for that, Bernie. We're going to be back with you in a moment. But for now, let me bring to you one of our most popular bag making bundles of the show and this is one of the bags that you can create with it this is the large bag making we've had lots of people messaging in saying it's so great that you can make workable bags and as you can see if i give you a full 360 of this you have got so much space here for all of your treats and treasures but that's not the only one you can make with the bundle on your screen oh well, no you can create this beauty as well i don't know what it is about this one it could be the fabric um but for me this almost feels like it'd be really nice for all your toilet trees you know if you go in on your on your jolly bobs or whatever this is a beautiful one you're getting that one in the kit as well and then oh i've just dropped it sorry um last but by no means least you're getting this which again you can change sort of the sizes um, of which you're getting so those are the three different designs of course though with all of the 10 elements that you get within this you can add on to these um different pockets in different areas different fastenings etc so you've got real great opportunity with these ones the large bags okay were nearly 90 pounds 89.97 today the three no 39.99 so that means you have got with these being 30 pounds each normally that means that you're buying one set and then for an extra nine ten pounds you're getting the other two but then remember you've got the extra five percent off so actually although it says 39.99 on your screen it's actually only 38 pounds that you're going to be paying for this today whilst those stocks last so please with over 51 pounds saving <laughs> you have got yourself a real treat and this is your chance to get it we are going to be talking a little bit about these bags now over with bernie these are just fab aren't they these are amazing i'm just quickly going to show you i mean look at this i mean they, they uh, two, i'm sticking with the two-tone i think they just look fantastic just put together and that four leather mm. is just amazing and then you know I was saying before about you can look at a die and think, actually, I'm going to do something different with that. Look at this one. This one has been made. So this is the um, crossover one, yes. which is the one I'm going to demo. But this one, we've left the gusset out. Ah, so it's, okay. like a, it's like a going out bag, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> a little going out bag. So if you're scared of the gusset, do it without first and then build yourself up to that. Okay. And then just quickly, this one is the ball and bag. You wouldn't think it is, would you? No. Look, it's a backpack. That's great. So all we've done is use the, the dies where you're cutting to make the gusset. We've made a strip also to go fit along the bottom ah. and just made the gusset longer. Great. And then you've made a backpack. Isn't that absolutely That's fantastic? Brilliant. So this is where you can start. It, basically, we, we like starting you off with your ideas mm. and then you can build on those. So like I say, I'm going, to, I'm going to show you how to do the crossover bag. Now, out of the um, piece cork. of cork that you get, I just want to show you how much I've got left out of the piece of cork. From I've cut my pieces already to make this bag and you've got all of this left Brilliant. as well. So you're, you're getting a, a sizable piece in there for you to use and keep for other projects. So the same scenario as with the bag, the satchel bag I did earlier. I've got bits of paper everywhere now. Mm -hmm. You've got that half element. So you're cutting everything on the fold. And then the reason why you get these little notches is if I open this up, you'll be able to see here, we give you instructions on how you, you concertina fold your fabric to get your gusset and get your handle. But by all means, like I used on the other one, I used web strapping. Mm. I didn't actually cut it. I used the web strapping and I had an extra long one. Mine, I don't know if I'll see that back again because I'll give it to you now, Becky. I think you might take a fancy to that. Um, As I'm really chuffed with it. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> it is good. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that one. So, yeah, so you're going to cut your pieces out exactly the same. And obviously, we haven't got long left on the show. So, what I've done is I've prepped quite a lot of it just so we can see. Now, what I've done is I've used this. Um, I got this in, the, in one of my mystery bundles a couple of weeks ago when we've well done for everyone who got those. This is our country yard fabric. And I thought it went really well with that 
cork. So once you get your cork home and your faux leather, have a look and see what, what fabric in your stash goes with it. So I cut those two outside pieces. So if I pop that out the way, you'll recognise now, you'll see that piece. So that was the piece that was cut on the fold. So that was that die. And then I cut the strip for the gusset. And then the same as with the satchel, I've put that gusset in and left the hole in the bottom. And because I've got a thick fabric again, I've left quite a wide gap there to put it through. And then the other thing I've done is I used the faux leather. So I cut my panels out with the cork, but my gusset I cut with the faux leather. How well, how well does that go? Fab. Absolutely amazing. If I just grab, where's that one without the gusset in? So this is the one without the gusset here. So we can really see the shape there. And then you can see by putting that side on, you're actually getting that extra, extra um, room in your bag as well. So what I need to do is start assembling this together and putting them together. And then the next thing is uh, we've got time. I want to put a little snap fastener on here. So let me, oh, and the last thing, nearly forgot. I made a strap with the faux leather hey, as wow. well. So we're proper all two-tone. So I'm going to just quickly, I'm going to tack this on so it doesn't move. So I'm doing them. It's pretty much similar to the satchel bag, but what you'll find is once you start making bags, a lot of your techniques are the same and you're just changing them to a different project. So I'm just going to, and as you can see, I'm, I haven't changed my needle. I haven't changed my settings and I'm sewn through faux leather. So with faux leather, you don't really need to change your settings. It's only if you're sewn through leather that you would actually change your settings. So I'll just pop the other handle on and then I'm going to put them right sides together. So the lining with the outer and I'm going to put them so all the way around the top exactly like I did with the satchel one and once you've started making a few bags you'll you'll start getting into the routine of actually I don't need to check them instructions now because I oh I remember now that I need to put the right sides together and then turn them through the gap and whatnot you, you know they start getting them together so there we go so I'm going to clip all these together, right. but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one that I've actually put together, but I've done it without the faux leather on, because I know we haven't got long left on the show, but I'm going to show you this one. So this is the one that I made in the cock without the faux leather. So you can see the difference, how the faux leather just lifts your project yeah. up. Now with this one, I've put that same lining in. I've put a zip in the top of here, but like you were saying, Becky, if you're, you know, if you're a bit scared of zips because you haven't really done them a lot, mm -hmm. you don't need to put a zip in. What you can do is leave that open. And do your snap. And do your snap oh, fastener yeah. in the top. Now, when I grab that one, this one, now we've got, we've got um, high tech stuffing in our bags we've got some bubble wrap mm -hmm. <laughs> but this one has been done with a magnetic fastener but it's right. the same principle we can use the snap fastener and that just makes it just that little bit more secure so you don't want your bag on your shoulder just gape and open you're going to have you know you're going to have something just to secure it so that's that's what i would do on this one but like i say i'm not going to have a lot of time um, to do it, but I will pop it in after the show as always. So shall I, shall I see if I can get stitched round or not, Becky? Do you think it'll... Lovely. Georgina, my producer is saying, don't forget you can vote for the demo of the show, okay? And that will go towards the demo of the day. So just to um, sort of put it to you, are you going to go for the bag that Bernie made earlier on? Or maybe you're going to be voting on the paper piecing uh, section that we did. Or maybe you're voting on the bag that Bernie's working on right this very moment. Get those votes into us on our social media. Oh, you can hear she's a quick stitcher, aren't you, Bernie? I, I always <laughs> stitch. I always stitch to the wire as well. I'm like this at home. <laughs> I'm super fast. I rarely turn my machine down slow. Depending, it's not very often. Not very often. Oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get Don't it. Don't worry. I'm not going to get it done. 
All right, so now say this one, we've gone with that two-tone theme. I'm just stitching all the way around the top. Mm -hmm. Over that handle, because I put that handle in exactly the same way. I double checked that I didn't twist it. It wasn't as long this one. And there we go. Beautiful. And this is just a lovely gentle curve, so you can just, you know, you don't have to pull it through your machine or anything. There we go. So if I turn it through. Obviously, you'd clip all your corners and everything. Yeah. But to give you an idea. Well, it gives you an idea. Let me pop the lining in. Oh, it looks fab! Isn't it fab? Oh, it just, it's wonderful. Doesn't it, really it just is. lift it, yeah, giving it, it that two tone? And um, people I are going, well, I wish you'd shut up saying two tone, but I'm going to say it again. <laughs> two tone! I like two tone. So there we go. Burning. So there is. The other one, I mean, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? It's wonderful. Now, you give it a nice press. Thank you so, so much for today. Your votes have come in. Thanks for voting so quick. And the snap pop bag is the winner for the one today, which is this one oh, over here. That means you can't take it home, Becky. Oh. Okay, you can take this one home, though. Oh, can right we let then. Becky take this one home? Oh. <laughs> twist my arm it hurts uh, Bernie as always you've been just fabulous you're back with us next Sunday I am and oh, I might get wrong for saying this if you're an animal lover yes. at all you do not want to miss next Sunday's show because Ooh. I am over hyper excited we will we've got some amazing papers. stuff on Peeled for that. We've had so many messages in saying how fabulous you are, Bernie. I wholeheartedly agree. So we'll see you next Sunday. We have got so much on the way for you. I've got Debbie joining me in our next show. I've got Second Chance Sunday coming up later on with decorative borders and so much more. For now, though, let me just let you know you're going to watch a little clip now of loads more that's still to come. For me, for now, I'll see you soon, my loves. Well, the rest of the day is looking super exciting here on Crafters TV because we journey into the craft class at 3 p.m. today here in the UK. That's 10 a.m. Eastern time, and it's one of the best craft classes because Debbie is here, and it's going to be all things flower forming. If you want to learn to make gorgeous projects just like these, make sure you tune in for that. Then a little later in the day, wrapping up the week in style, it is, of course, time for Second Chance Sunday, where we bring back some of the most popular products from the last couple of weeks so you can get your crafty paws on them.